In this lesson, we're going to learn how to convert a radical, which is something that has a root. Sometimes it's to the power of three or four, five, whatever, but those are called radicals. And we're going to convert that into something that they call it a rational expression. So it's going to be like taking like something like this, for example, and rewriting it like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to get rid of the root symbol. So some teachers do this in one step, but I would rather show you in two steps as it will make more sense. So I want you to remember that this exponent, um, if there's nothing there, then it's a one. So forget about the seven for now. What I want you to do is remember that to rewrite that, it's the same as X, and then you take the inside number divided by the outside number, okay? Then we have the seven on the outside. Now, how does exponents work with these? Can you remember? Or maybe if I give you a more easy example, you would have no problem telling me that this is x to the power of six, not five, hey? You're multiplying them. You're not plusing them, you're multiplying. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna multiply these two together and that's just gonna give you seven over six. And there's your final answer. Let's do a couple more. We're gonna do quite a lot in this lesson. So step one, don't worry about the three. Take this number, which is a one, and so you rewrite it as a to the inside number over the outside number. It's always the inside number over the outside number, okay? And then remember that there is this three, so then you multiply, and that's gonna give you a to the power of three over four. Let's do this one. So now we can take this 10r as one unit, like this, to the power of one. There's no other exponent there. And then remember that if there's nothing here, then it's a two. So we would say 10r to the power of one over two. And then that is to the power of five. So if you had to multiply those two together, you're gonna get 10r to the power of five over two. Here's our next example. So this is 10x. You can think of that as one unit to the power of one. So the first step is just to write that the inside number over the outside number, and then all of that is to the power of five. Go ahead, multiply these two, and so you end up with 10x to the power of five over four. The reason I keep it in a bracket is some students, they write it like this, but this isn't correct, because this only means the x, but we want the whole 10x to be part of the five over four. That's why we bracket it. Let's do two more examples. So step one, just remember that this is a one and then this is a six, so you could rewrite that as b to the one over six in brackets to the power of five. Then you multiply these two together, so that's gonna give you b to the five over six. So you can do this in one step, but I like to do it in a two-step process. Our last question. So this is up to the power of one, so you first write it as the inside number over the outside number, then to the power of four, and then what you do is you multiply these together, and so that's gonna give you uh, four over three, like that.